Hello and welcome to VLogic, the Logic video blog. Today we're going to be talking about trees in Logic, what they are and how to talk about them. A tree is just a collection of nodes which we draw as blobs and arcs which we draw as lines between the nodes. Each tree has a root node which we draw at the top of the page and it has several leaf nodes which we draw at the bottom of the page. For our purposes a branch will be a path from the root of the tree down to one of its leaves. Now we want to understand when two nodes are on the same branch and here's a way of testing. If you can trace a path from one of the nodes to the other one just by going up the tree, not up and down, then they're on the same branch. But if you have to go up the tree and back down to go from one node to the other, then they're on different branches. We want to describe relationships between nodes. When we have an arc from a node above to a node below it, we call the node above the parent and the node below its child. Each node has just one parent, except for the root which doesn't have any, but a node can have many children. So have a look at these nodes here. We've got one parent node and several of its children. When you have a bunch of nodes and they're all a child of the same parent, we call them siblings of one another. So all of these nodes here are siblings of each other. Here's the parent, here's its children, and they're siblings of one another. We can take this idea of family relations further. When we have a node that has a child, and it has a child, and it has a child, etc. We call that last node a descendant of the first node. And the first one is an ancestor of the last node. So this node here is an ancestor of this node at the bottom. And this node at the bottom is a descendant of this one at the top. Putting that all together, the root node is an ancestor of every node. Every node is a descendant of the root node. OK, we've seen what trees are and how to talk about them. In future videos, we'll look at how to use trees to do various things in logic. That's all for now. Hope to see you back at VLogic soon.